Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part one of our API and database testing with Specflow and C Sharp video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about setting stage ready for testing API. Prerequisite environments. Before getting started with API testing, following are the prerequisite softwares one must have in their machine. The most important software is the Visual Studio Community Edition or Hire because this is what is the tool which we're going to use for our API testing. SQL Server Express or Hire is much recommended because some of the database operations that we're going to perform for this video series is going to be relying on the SQL Server. Internet Information Server Express or Hire is also recommended because the application which we're going to work with is a web application and the web service is something which relays on a internet information server so internet information server express or higher is much recommended as well and i missed one more thing maybe if you have a good text editor that is also much recommended for example sublime text is one of the software which i use for text editing so use that as well so these are the prerequisite environments for our video series all right why Visual Studio and why not any best and easy tool like SOAP UI? These are the questions which many people are asking me while they start doing the API testing. Well, one principal problem of educating a software engineer is that they will not use a new method until they believe it work and most importantly that they will not believe the method will work until they see it for themselves. And it's not told by me. The name is there. So why are you telling this to me then? I hope the quotes answer the question which I had unless until I worked with Visual Studio myself. I really got very very great feel of testing API while I started working with Visual Studio and C Sharp. So I hope you will also get the same feel while you start working with Visual Studio and C Sharp to perform an API level testing. Alright, so for that let's flip to Visual Studio. So we are going to use the execute auto employee application which we were using in many of our video series like this the automation framework development with selenium c sharp advanced video series where we were discussing how to do an automation testing with this particular application and also we wrote a framework using that particular application we also have a course in Udemy for build, deploy, test with Theme Foundation Server 2015 and Selenium. So even in this video series, we were using this application to do a auto deployment and auto testing in a remote machine as well as in a local machine. So we were using this application a lot in many of our video series and we automated this application at the same time we tested this application. And we're going to use exactly the same application this time but instead of actually using the application's UI component we are going to use the API component for our testing purpose. So what is the API component in this particular application? So as you can see here the employee list if you just go here the list of employee which it is going to display in this application like this is actually a data which is coming from the database table as you can see right here but if you log into this application from the login page you can see there is something called employee details and if you go to the employee details you can see that there is something called employee pf employee bonus and all these different options coming up along with the salary and the grade so if you click this employee pf this will give you some employee contribution and the salary that he have and the grade he has. So this is the contribution which is being displayed for that particular employee. And the data is actually not coming from the database this time. It is actually coming from a API, which is nothing but a web service in this case. And if you go to the internet information server, and if you go to the server and there is a sites, and if you go to the default sites, you can see there is something called PF service. So this PF service is something which is responsible for this particular data which is actually coming right here. 5184. So for Karthik this time it is 5184. So what if I go to the employee list and if I just edit the details of Karthik and let's say if I'm going to increase his salary from 4000 to maybe 5000 and if I save this, this time the logic is going to perform some operation and the data it's going to pull is going to be different 
So it was 5184 before and if you see right now it is 6480. So the business logic behind the scene is actually calculating the employee's contribution based on his salary, his, uh, his grade, number of months he worked and all those things. So these are the different kinds of API that you can see even in your applications. But this is a very, very, very simple API that I have created and perform a very simple calculation logic for the employee PF calculation, something like that. But in your real world scenario, you will see there are some different kinds of logic actually running behind the scene in your application, not just one web service. Sometimes there will be more than five or six web services running to perform different kinds of operation. You will not sometimes consume your web service within your application. Sometimes you may be using the web service, which is a third party web service which can bring the data out from a different sources. So we are going to perform this kind of testing for our series and you can see how the code of the web service looks like. So this is the PF service client and you can see this is the code structure and this is our execute auto employee application and you can see I have consumed this PF service client right here. And that's why you can see that I can bring the data for these employees. And the web service is also deployed in our internet information server. So we'll talk more about the web service in detail in next video of this series. So stay tuned guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.